Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. Today we have day 36 of our indoor grow over here and you can see that uh, the mini belt is doing okay. Um, this plant is absolutely kind of growing all over the place and it's looking like it's trying to bounce back. Um, it should be kind of in flowering stage right now, however it looks like it's it's fighting in between vegetation as well as flowers developing. So. It's really difficult to say what's going on at the moment and the tomatoes are not really developing. I only have one large tomato. You can see we got some suckers that are basically growing into their own full size branches over here. And as well as on the main branch, we got a couple more suckers like one here. And I can even see a couple small ones right there that are kind of beginning to grow. So you could see that the suckers are, are growing quite large. They're even developing flowers on both sides. And those flowers are gonna get nice and large soon, so. Um, a couple flowers have definitely fallen off. You could see like there's one over here. Uh, it's kind of a mixture of, of this plant, both the plants, you know, not the best growth as well as my son coming in and beating this plant up a little bit. So you could see a size comparison basically um, between the fruit size and uh, the flower over here. The fruit looks like it's about maybe like half an inch big, something like that. And it hasn't begun to develop any, any color yet. And it looks like you got two more fruits right next to it, each other that are basically developing. And we have a lot of flowers all over the place, as you can see, that are beginning to grow. So that's really good. So hopefully this plant, you know, bounces back. Um, I've def definitely been neglecting it quite a bit. It's by far, I would say, my least favorite plant in the garden right now. Uh, it's just given me nothing but problems. And this is supposed to be a, a dwarf-sized tomato plant, guys. This, there's absolutely nothing dwarf about this plant. Let me show you what the plant is actually supposed to look like. So you could see right above over here, I have the same plant growing. However, it looks completely different. This is a mini bell tomato plant. It's supposed to be a dwarf tomato plant, like a 12 inch by 12 inch, something like that, tall and wide. And the fruits grow really tight and compact all over the place. You could see there's just, it's just loaded with flower. flowers and fruits are basically growing all around. You could see I have little miniature fruits. So what I did was I took um, a couple of transplants from it. I, I cut off two suckers and I, I put it basically two days ago. And you can see this is a sucker over here or one over here. It's just something that grows in between the main branch and the leaf. And that'll grow into its own into its own branch. But it's a good idea to clip those sometimes if you don't want the plant you know, getting large and you want to focus more growth on the, on the actual development of the plant instead of new growth. So you could see over here, these are the, the two suckers that I cut in, uh, like I mentioned two days ago, and I put in Rockwell cubes. So there's, you know, there's definitely no roots growing yet. And I'm gonna grow this plant throughout my entire system since it's been growing really well. That's kind of the ideal size for what I need. And you could see this plant is of the same variety. It's supposed to be the same plant, guys, but you could see clearly it's looking really different. And it's just giving me nothing but problems, honestly. Now, I have yet to do a nutrient change since the last time I've done it. It's been a while. So more than likely, it's, you know, it's a little bit my fault as well. It probably has the wrong pH as well as the wrong um, nutrients in there. It looks like the NPK is probably way off too. Um, I could tell just by looking at the plant, it looks way off, guys. But look at basically the, these plants over here, like the cherry tomato plant or the blue Wagner or the black Vernissage. Look, it's already developing flowers. Um, it's been in the Kratky system here since only the, the 19th of May. So it hasn't been that long at all, guys. It's been maybe like two weeks, something like that. And it's already flowers are developing. It's unbelievable. So I would much rather grow this plant. I could take sucker transplants off the sucker there and grow that in my system instead of focusing the growth kind of on this plant. Um, I'm still going to try to save it, you know, as best as I can, especially since it's so far along the way. But I will be showing you how we take transplants of, of tomato plants this way. All you ever need is just one tomato plant, guys, and you can have an infinite, uh, sorry, an infinite amount of tomato plants growing. And you could see that there's basically like, what is that? Looks like one gallon of nutrients left. So not that much. Um, and like I mentioned, I've yet to change the nutrients. So that's not really a good sign. It hasn't been drinking up nutrients well at all. And you could see that the roots are, are really small in comparison to kind of like the cucumber plant, for example. So I know at this, at this stage of growth, the plants should be, you know, developed way better. So it looks like things are, are a little bit all over the place, guys. So I'm going to try to fix things up. I'm going to mix new nutrients today and swap some things out over here. 
and I'm gonna clean the system. So hopefully things bounce back a little bit. It looks like the plant is trying its best to come back to life. Um, I still have these these you know problems with the leaves over here, so I am trying to figure that out a little by little. I'm doing research, as well as a couple of friends are helping me figure some things out. I appreciate that, guys. All the love is always appreciated. Uh, it's a super hot day, guys. I'm trying to keep the system cool. You can see it's already in the it feels like it's in the 90s in the grill room right now. I got two fans going, so gotta try to keep things cool, guys. Got one behind me, one above me. As always, if you like the episode, please hit that thumbs up. Post any messages or comments down below. I'll always do my best to respond. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.